What's up guys, Ricardo the Barber here, and I'm going to cut my own hair. Uh, now for my haircut, I go with a bald fade, and I do a part on top. So here I am using a modded pair of cordless wall designers with a balding blade on there. So um, as I'm looking at the mirror, you know, I can cut both sides, only because I can see it. Now I use a small mirror when I want to do the back. And right now I'm just going over, you know, um, all the areas. I'm doing a mid bald fade. So I want to make sure everything below the midpoint of my head is nice and, uh, and bald. So I'm using my left and my right hand to do this haircut. And I would highly suggest that if you can, do it too because it's going to make your haircut so much easier. Now that I did the whole, um, the whole head using the, uh, the bald trimmers, I go in there with my half blade and I bring it up about an inch. And, you know, this is no different than I normally cut anyone else's hair, just doing it on my own. So I wear glasses, and when I turn around to do the back of my head, I have to be able to see. So I do take my glasses off when I'm doing my sides, but when I'm doing my back, I have to put them back on just to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. And here I'm using my left hand because I'm left-handed, and I'm going to go around the head. And now I'm switching hands and using my right hand, and I'm going to connect it, okay? Um, here you don't have to be perfect, but you know the closer you are to perfect, the better your haircut has the potential of coming out. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, and widen up whatever I need to widen up. As you can see, I had to go a little higher. I got my number two guard, and um, here I'm gonna hold my hair down with one hand, and then you know use the number two guard um, in the other hand. And I want to make sure I don't hit the long hairs um, with the uh, two guard. So. Then I'm going to just, you know, go against the grain, getting everything else to a number two. And now I'm working on the back. So I definitely recommend do it the same way I'm doing it as far as holding a mirror up and having a bigger mirror in back of you. Because, um, you know, when you're actually looking in the mirror, you, you have a huge mirror uh, as a reference in back of you that you can see everything. So you'll have no problem. And uh, so now, you know, on the other side where my hair gets combed down, I'm just going up, straight up with this number two guard. And again, you know, I could just look right at the mirror for this part. So nothing special going on here, just going straight up. Now I'm using the scissors. And all I'm going to do is knock down the uh, any long hair that didn't blend into the two properly. I'm just going to go ahead, cut it up. And this part, you really have to go by feel. Uh, it, it's kind of tough when you're looking in the mirror at yourself. But if you notice, pretty much from here on out, every time I go to cut, I don't really even look at the, I don't really look at, at myself because I'm really feeling it. You know, it's more about what you feel in your, in your hands and where they're positioned. Um, and you should be fine. You might make out better than actually looking. You know, I don't recommend it to anybody who's never done it though, just in case. So I grab my number one, I pop it on there, open it up, and I'm all I'm doing is I'm just you know referencing the, my number two guideline. I'm just going to go right under it with an open blade and I'm going to work myself uh, into the one by adjusting the blade forward and, uh, and blending a little bit at a time. So as you can see I just put it halfway and then I'll put it um, all the way closed and most of that line will be blended out. Uh, but it's not going to be perfect, you know, there's going to be a little bit of a, of a line left which, um, which I'll use this guard here, zero guard, which is 1 16th. When I use it halfway closed, it should take out that line. Um, you know, if you're if you're doing hair and you're doing your own hair and the line's not out, you know, just adjust it forward more, a little more closed, cut a little lower, and uh, you should be able to see that line, you know, gradually come out. Now, when you're cutting your own hair, I notice um, you could sweat a little easier, so definitely use a brush instead of a comb when you're doing your fade, because you need to be able to flick away a lot of the hairs that are, you know, attaching to your sweat on the back of your head, because it will make a huge difference when you're looking into the mirror from far away and actually seeing what's going on. And, um, you know, that, that'll help big time. Because one time I, I had a lot of hair on my head and I just kept trying to fade it and it didn't work. But then I realized it was just, you know, hair that was already cut. When I brushed it away, it was like perfect. So just as a recommendation, as a tip, that might help you out. But here, you know, I got my regular uh, clippers. Um, no, I don't. Okay, I'm going to get my regular clippers. I already got the regular clippers. Damn, I'm late. Um, I ended up using the the one blade uh, or you know the open blade and um, basically just blending downwards from that last guideline. So again, 
you've seen my videos, you know how I, I blend. It's the same thing I'm doing on my hair. And uh, now I'm back on the back of my head. And I'm just going to, um, you know, use the same techniques, just holding a mirror up, you know, connecting everything. I'm trying to keep everything the same, you know, with the same guidelines as I had before. This way everything flows. Because you could easily, you know, um, angle them wrong and next thing you know your fade's kind of crooked. Just, you know, try to use your judgment and keep everything nice and level. And, uh, back to the zero, which is going to knock out that last little number one guard line. And now you can see, you know, things are starting to come together a little bit. The sides of my head um, is already blended in perfectly from bald to uh, a number two. And as I'm connecting the back, which is from here on out, you'll see everything starting to get cleaned up and it's actually starting to look like a fade. And, uh, you know, this will save you money. I do it every week. Um, you know, if you think you, you pay a barber 20 bucks and you're a barber yourself, I mean, usually barbers cut other barbers' hair for free, but, I mean, even if you have a pair of clippers at home and you're not a barber, you know, pick them up and, and, and start cutting, practice. Personally, I don't care how my hair comes out. Um, that's just me, which is why I started cutting my own hair in the first place. But, uh, you know, I do like a good haircut, and if you can have the best of both worlds while doing it yourself, you know, I highly recommend it. Now you see me uh, closing the, uh, the blade, and everything is just coming together perfect, uh, at least the way I like it, you know. Um, you might not have the same haircut that I have, but you could use a lot of these same techniques to do your hair. And again, I'm left-handed, using my left hand to blend that. And now I'm, I got my number one back on the uh, clippers and I'm using my right hand so this is probably the toughest part if, if you can get used to using both hands while cutting your own head you're gonna save a lot of time and you're gonna make your hair cut a lot easier as you can see you know after just doing your hair a couple times you get pretty good I've never cut with my right hand in my life but I use it every time I cut my own hair and um, you know just follow the guidelines connect everything properly and uh, you see me adjusting a little by little I'm using the Black Andes Masters because um, they're my newest clippers, my favorite clippers. And when I cut hair, you could really get a good feel of how much hair is coming off because of the sound that the clippers make. So if you're cutting your own hair, it makes it that much easier uh, to, to do so. So, you know, now that it's all um, being put together, you'll see how nice it's starting to look. It's just a little area that I really have to blend out. And, you know, as long as I stuck to my guidelines and I finished blending with my opposite hand, um, everything should look pretty, you know, pretty good. And be sure to, you know, go over every spot and, and adjust the mirror however, you know, you need. And it shouldn't be a problem. This haircut takes me, to do on myself, takes me a half an hour. So, um, you know, I find that I cut my hair quicker than I cut anyone else's. Just going over the part a little bit. I don't like it too wide, so I just touch it up a little, you know, lightly. And uh, right now it's the goatee in action. I had to cut the beard because I'm getting married soon. I got yelled at, so beard's off. Goatee's in for now. But uh, I start from the bottom, and I just make a straight line going across. Then I do the bottom of my lips. Um, I do the sides. This way I can figure out how wide I want the goatee. And I don't go too wide. I like it kind of like, you know natural looking hit the other side make sure everything's nice and symmetrical and uh, you know from my point of view everything's looking pretty good the way I like it at least you know usually my mustache I don't I don't take down too thin I just touch a little bit this way uh, you know it's again natural but clean then I hit everything up with the shaver I come below all my trimmer lines this way you know I don't, I don't make any extra lines and uh, I go over my whole face and then I pretty much call it a day. All right, so that's how I uh, that's how I cut my hair. Hopefully, you guys, you know, maybe you guys can use some tips that you, you got from this, and um, you know, save some money, do it up. But until uh, next time, guys, thanks for uh, watching. All right, peace out.